song with a story to it. Uh, it happens to be a true story. I won't go into the details. It's, it's something that's happened to a, to a youth, to the local rough stuff. It's not, a, it's not a funny story. It's not got a, one of these stories with a punchy bit at the end. And it's not a, a moralizing story or a whimsical or a sentimentalizing story. It's just a story. And I've tarted it up a bit. See what you think. She kissed me like a child, fresh and peckish like a child. She was wild as little strawberries, but though she kissed me as a child would do, she clung on a little longer than she needed to. I did it for a dare, go and kiss her for a dare. In the middle of the village square, she was a seventeenish as the month of May, and her daddy was a butcher in a pie and pudding's way. This kiss, this kiss, this little skirmish of a kiss was importunately witnessed by the twitching whiskers and the bulging eyes of a couple of the local ladies who were passing by, passing by, passing by. A couple of the local ladies who were passing by. Understood this pretty kiss misunderstood by the squinting sisterhood, and thus the whisper whisper went from pinafore to pinafore, every tut tut more grievous than the well I never before. Until her daddy heard, her demented daddy heard every grisly whispered word, and stepping fresh from the slaughterhouse, the crimson butcher ran, the steam around his shoulders still a cleaver still in his hand. Well, you may buy my pies, he cries, my puddings, buy my pies. Get your whip of snapping eyes from off the juicy beauty of my daughter, who is a tidbit far too tasty for the lips of the likes of you, likes of you, likes of you. Far too tasty for the lips of the layback, likes of you. Cleaver high, swung his whistling cleaver high, and his cry was agonizing. I shall follow King Solomon's decision in as much as I'm going to split you down the middle, easy, collarbone to crutch. But with a single bound, his daughter with a springy bound flung her arms and legs around me, singing, Split all you wish to daddy, let the cleaver fall, and you shall split me likewise, precious Ted Bird's and all. I am my own to give. Nobody else but mine to give. Perhaps I'll give it to this whippersnapper backbone to belly button, tongue tip to toe. From nipples up above to bushy triangle below, down below, down below. My tangled diamond down below. Which came as news to me. Both of the butcher man and me, but who was I to disagree? What with my nose in her breastbone, her haunches in my hand, and a chopper in the offing, there was a lot to understand. The cleaver never, never fell, the jealous cleaver never fell, and although my eyes were elsewhere by a pressing little message of her elbows and thighs, she let me know her daddy'd gone there, tears in his eyes. She kissed me like a child, fresh and peckish like a child. She was wild as little strawberries, but though she kissed me as a child would do, she clung on a little longer than she needed to, needed to. 